peace in Islam. We got um the series we're gonna break down the words, we're gonna try to take it back to the basics. We're gonna break down what words means, what these words mean, like more. So I talking to the Moorish Americans right now. So, you know. This ain't a video for to debate nothing. But the comment section open. For the Moorish Americans got some sincere questions when they done. But we gonna dig into some of the correlations with everything, dealing with this word, words like bahia, which is another word for bay, or uh, um, another word for more, or, or more, or wrong. But we can see they got they they um, magazines or this website, the Traveler, they know they call it the Black Rome as a nickname. Old kingdom, old Moorish kingdom, down there, and our kingdom's been like city states. And it had the lines and the borders, cities. You know, just like here in North America, so-called tribes and stuff. And yes, those tribes went through all just like the tribes in North America. Let's get off. It. Let's get to the truth. We're going to um, deal with some words and how words um, come about. You're going to be able to look at the maps that we see in modern times, look around you. You'll be able to see a lot of the how stuff change. Some deliberately change, some just change over time, some change because of distance of the family members. get to some examples we can get into the Morris goal quote unquote you get into what more means what B means what L means and it's original sense true sense we got a town called Moro with the in Amazon in Peru and in the modern maps they got this area, they got a, a town called All Mortals from one of these towns. Which is a misnomer because you got two mixed languages. You got English and Latin. Uh, Spanish, All Mortals. But it goes to show it's a historic section of Peru. Lima. The name of that is funny, right? So we get an idea of the Moors, the so-called historical Moors, right? But we don't look at it as that, as Moors Americans. We are who our ancestors were. And he who controlled the streets controlled the world. And as we can see, who controlled the streets. And they say extinct, but we speak it today, right? We still use the letters. And we're going to see what came out of it. Religion and every other institute we could think of is connected to this, and that's why our circle seven. Basically, when you read the circle seven, you should be able to see it a little differently after this video. And you see, we got the Holy Land, so called. We got North Africa. We got the Straits. But. In reality, the whole world should be yellow. Cause damn, the whole world using us. A form of it. It's another form of it. And you got Mori, and the Aramaic, no, the Amharic form of Mori. Which we gonna get. In. <coughs> we gonna get into what that is today. In a little bit. We're looking at some of the architecture of the so-called ancient Libya. We're looking into morphology 
of the words, the science of the languages. In a simple way. Simple as they can make it in the tribal fast. Thanias, okay, tribal fast on. So we know. Allegedly, they see this as wrong, right? So I want you to pay attention to architecture. You see, I like your capital buildings. Yeah, East and West Libya. East and the Western Libyans and you know, all um, geographers and historians of the ancient um, literature, so-called Greek. We're gonna deal with what all that is too. I'll show you what the ship was even talking about. Let's deal with more rights. Let's deal with Misha. I don't think I got that slide in here, but in one of the languages of the of one of the maps I had, I had Mississippi. <laughs> or Mississippi. But you know, what I want to get to is this right here. You see MS. That's the original word without the vowels. So when the vowels come in, we deal with the same group of people, just different places, different times and stuff like that. Time period and place. Time and place, that's a dimension. Let's see, Mesa. You may find places all over with that. Oh, um, they asked after that. Mesopotamia and stuff like that. They'll tell, they'll tell you it means middle and all kinds of stuff, but hey, let's deal with the truth. Let's deal with the language itself. So nobody had to tell us nothing. You see, Kemosh. We got K M S. That's the true word. And you put your own vowels in there. You got a place called Kamas, right near Moab, Utah, in the northern part of Moab, Utah. You got called Kamas with different version, same word. You can go. You can go look it up and go look look. look to a website with the author or somebody who you just met you wouldn't even know you don't know or whatever to tell you that it means something else if you want so you and a Christian you know our circle said we got the story of Mary and Issa and you know so let's deal with why because he's dealing with the truth and the truth is in the word Called a stellar, modest star. Now, let's see. Even the word modest mm, is used as C because the people who can see people. The stuff get correlated to stuff like the word black, get correlated to the word this off. The, the people who bring that dark complexion compared to that author. And the mind of that author who write that de definition. Already in the time period with people being called that who was Moors, so they already being called back in the reality of the world at the time period of the person who writes such dictionary. And most of them dictionaries, they people be using that and say, Hey, more beings black in this dictionary, hey, but I bet you that dictionary in English that right they already tell you how modern it is. One of the last languages of them all, but it still comes from this Maryam, which is Mary. Arabic but look also in the Aramaic you see how everything connected right <coughs> you look how the different versions come out of M-R-Y yeah M-R-Y we can go take them back to Egypt too because you know that what chapter 47 tells us right the domains of Egypt so we want to show how that was a part of it too, right? Ancient Egypt, not just Egypt, ancient. 
Miriatu, which means love, my beloved. Be, but you know, he stole MR, he stole that original MR, and they got like a thousand different versions, t- definitions of it, of it now to after all these thousands of years, of course. But we don't care what a thousand years what other people say throughout the time. We about what you say, you believe the word means. It's about that tent. And you see how they add suffixes, right? Mary Atu, the beloved of Atu, right? And the high priestess, they got Marilyn. You got the suffix, you got Mary and Land. Another one. Some of the statues. But you gotta understand, chapter 47 teaches us that this empire been worldwide, including here. And we're gonna show you through language why. Marie Tommy. Right by Washington, D.C. Maryland. Here we got the land of the goddess. Our beloved. Our love. Another example. That could be my water if you just flip it. <laughs> water, my. Uh, her, my. Who's the greatest of seers? And what I want to say is something else I want to say on this page. The temple gate of Heliopolis by Dinkus represent the ruler of the streets. Look like a street. The people who rule the streets rule the world. So we got the empire of Egypt being referenced to in chapter 47 in our history. So let's deal with that. Let's see. And they use it for love. And they're using it for the one. The one who Ra love. Right. And you know, remember it's an empire in this form. You got the so called Canaanites, Phoenicians, and all the way up to the Arabic still give you a lot of the original form. I mean, yeah, like forms of words using just the consonants <laughs> always remember the consonants is the only word true for the word the vowels can interchange it, words like H can, can disappear you can just get rid of you can get rid of letters like um, double letters you can take off one like Tennessee Tennessee, how to say Tennessee? I don't think it would be Tennessee. You just change up, take off the extra e, and then and we change the vowel because they're only dealing with the consonants in reality. Just like the word Tunisia, Tunisia, Tennessee and Tunisia is the same word. Tallahassee and Oklahoma and so much you go look at a map. <coughs> uh, that's why you got a lot of Tallahassee and stuff like that. You got all Tulsa Homa. <laughs> so words like that 
in the South. Tulsa, Oklahoma, I think mixing up the two, but them, cause them suffixes and stuff that we ain't really looking at it like that. A lot of words got a lot in it. Uh, el, uh, ba el. Uh, this word, all these words that means God and stuff like that. Ancient words. And we got namer. Stomer, reason to see the aspect of it, I think. I think that's what it means. Our Lord aspect. As you see, Stone Peru. The bark morals. And on the other side, the Barca family, you know, Hannibal or whatever. We do a cartilage. And the, the, some definitions define as the people of the Atlas Mountains or whatever. Atlante is <coughs> known as the king of Mauritania, and that's where the name Atlas come from. One of the kings. But you know, Mauritania is M, the country of MR, which can be multiple things. We can get into that. And this is from a barber shop. And what's funny about this is they're using. Uh, version of Nega N E G A or Negast or Naga Serpent. But you know, interchangeable. You can take out a G and you can change the vowels how you want. And so, what do I think? This person just said like Tupac. But this in Mexico. And they call the barber shops in Mexico Barbaria, Barbaria, <laughs> which is funny. Niggas Barbaria, that's the name that you go go search on Google Maps to pop up to find this place. And they getting fade and shit like niggas, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so, okay, that's right here, show some of the first. Um, colonization, if you want to call it that. After Andalusia became Spain, <laughs> right after like 1495, 1497, going into the now <laughs> to the present, we have Rio de Oro, which is Castilian, Sao Tome, Portuguese, the first cross, which means the first place that they get to get. And a lot of these places been like uninhabited. Or have it by tribes so when we even fucking with something like that. No, you know, just like today, you know, plenty of places that you can go for miles, you know, people, just animals, and the wildland and shit. But they really start from down here, they call that way, really, you know, the bunch of moors. And then they kind of penetrate up. And they use the different wars that were going on with the tribes, just like they did in North America. In Andalusia, it's been over time, and, and they write history to the point where it ain't really happened. Like you still have nobles ruling and living good way past what we might perceive as the colonized, as we like me not get take over or some shit. Like just really in our head. <laughs> like right now, like this still ain't like this ain't. They shit, they Castilla shit. You, they you, uh, they come from you. The Castilians, the people who call themselves they ain't nothing but people who penetrate the empire. They've been ruling that that area for a long time. So we, you know, they claim the space off that. <laughs> you going over there? You see the Arabic team. You see, they just simplify it using the truth out of the language because the word Tennessee you're using the actual sounds of the ancients and that's what we're dealing with morphology the study of words their information and their relationship in the word and we're dealing with stems roots prefixes suffixes connotations denotations time periods everything that's why it's interesting for me right here too because we're dealing with the circle seven right northwest of Mexico 
and this dotted line say that it went on into the future under unknown circumstances and unknown purposes and names and that's when they say the fall of the Northwest and makes them more so us in North America that's what happened because when you look at the old American text got a lot of key C's turned into K's a lot of words that are placed especially in the northeastern area got a Punic Iberian mixture so they act like they don't know what happened to our life it just became what we used to be and that's why this video won't explain you know and they had no consciousness neither all this all this family this whole chart is the original language is going back as you can see circle says right there Showing you the Phoenicians, the Canaanites. That's where you get your Hebrew and all that. It's, a, it's the same people. Both of these, my first get kicked out. All these people get kicked out. <laughs> and get treated as an inquisition against the inquisition for over here. Since shit. At least the early 13, how did you try to penetrate? One instance, they got one story. See the custodians that get over here by accident try to go somewhere else, get pushed over here and steal some of my shit and haul ass, take some shit and dip and a bunch of decades going by and, and there's still a lot of people who ain't never stole I had no box players, but they just had some shit. But that story ain't been told. But it's in the records of the Medina Centurion family. And look at a map that she did from her research. This um how they marginalize everything in the Holy Lands. Like they see as the Holy Lands, right? But they only dealing with languages. They ain't dealing with biblical history and guessing. They dealing with how we can travel, how we can see morphology based off this. But what they do what they did is they ignore everything they learn a lot of stuff outside of this area because they only perceive this as the holy land but all this language spread around the world today so it might be older versions of a lot of these in other places which will show people from other places coming to these places and back and forth and we would miss that history because everybody's stuck on Oh, the Holy Land right here, okay. We deal with the Holy, we deal with the Circle Sands, so we deal with the Empire of Adrian. So, Holy Land and all this is the whole world to us. You see, L I B, which is really L B, because I came later. Which means heart and gut. <coughs> Works like Libya, Liberia, stuff like that. Lebanon. <laughs> and this interesting too. This Arabic for heart, which is not heart. Yeah, heart. Beloved. Another word for beloved. Um, it's just turban word of treatment. So we got Tamiri, was the land of the beloved, like um, Horace Butler bring to light. And um, we got turban, we know that people hate war turbans, so but as opposed to show, they could be saying land of turban too. This could be based off how you see <laughs> the knowledge of the languages, like this. I say tomahawk, but you know tomahawk is a <laughs> Native American <laughs> uh, axe, right? <laughs> but we dealing with the East and the West and Libyans. Circle seven, you know, ancient kingdom. Because you know the circle seven in my mind, I look at the chapter forty-seven as a 
the the latest of many different world empires on different tones and languages and different stuff that we don't even got any evidence of today. But because you know, time ain't never was what man was not, so you know, something come from somewhere, not a new under the sun. Not no under the light, the truth. And this this interesting though because a lot of the we can tra- we can see these people travel. We can see these people in Andalusia, we can see these people in the Tennessee area when they so called say that the Melodians came from Andalusia. So you know. Take it for what it is. To make, let's see, to mashik. As a wa. Let's see, bal. We don't, we don't, we don't deal, deal with what other people say, right? So, you know, we deal with ba here earlier. By our and you know, not whatever they want to say, but Bob, but let's see what it simply is a master, a husband, sometimes used as honor, sometimes an archer or babbler, like they're doing right now, babbler, bird captain, chief man, confederate, have to do dream. Those to whom it is due, <laughs> but those to whom it is due as a bar. Furious, those that are given to it. Great, hairy, as in bear, bird. He that has it, half horseman, and husband, lord, a man, married. Master, now I want you to see in these words with the MR, right? Let me take out the rest of the word. A lot of these words still got MR in it to show you that it came down in just morphed forms. Um, okay, let's deal with Aramaic without the vowels. We got chief of the market, who's known as a Mari or Mary. Propiona, a householder, official, and you know, a bell is an official too. All the servant. <laughs> Later, some people start to, just like Muli, they start to associate these terms with serve because they start to convert morals who been had these names like Bala and, and Muli take those names off them and made them servants of something. So now that same Baal is a servant. So now you got in that time period <coughs> definitions showing up. But you wouldn't find those certain definitions in the, most of the ancient definitions of these words. Dealing with the ancient Canaanites and, and more bites and stuff like that. We wouldn't find it as those words, right? We find these type of words. You know, like the bailiff, stuff like that, come from Baal. That we just see. A master. <laughs> it's really simple. Like, this way, it can be, the land of God could be Maryland or Morocco, based off the old language. And it can be in the many different forms. And we take off the vowels and put your own vowels, switch the vowels. And you might find that same place in another part of the world. <coughs> and you can go around the internet and go see what everybody else got to say about the origin of those names of those places. Like this right here. Can be Mauritania. And that means the money. And that can be Myrtle. Myrtle Beach or something like that. Or Maryland. 
a Mari Landa stuff right there in this time when you come down to this time right we're still dealing with that when we're dealing with these letters like the letter B in Aramaic is B B F which means house B R means house of the Lord Berlin Berlin Bethlehem all those places in Brazil and the northeastern part of North America Six examples. <laughs> All this can mean is Lord, but they're gonna show you how, even in a small area of the alleged place where these these things got from, so-called holy lands, even in those small areas, it got different forms. So imagine the version of the same people was on another side of the world. <laughs> Look how they freak them. Is dealing with the MR really Morocco and all these that's how they've been using these certain sections right it means Lord and that's why the original oldest version because he's shorter the truth is always less that's why our circle seven lit is smaller than the rest of these holy texts because the truth is always less you can go learn the, the nuances from me on the Marian Mori. So, you know, they're always known as Moors and Mori. This just means people of God. And me, people who, the reason we start to be known as that because ye are gods. And on top of that, so many places God named land of God in different forms that the people from those lands became the different forms of that word. Moro and Mara and all the different forms. But calling yourself a million other things today, that's on them. But Mariaku, and we got the L in front of it. And we, that's what we deal with, Lemuria. See, Lemuria. And we got the English. It's showing you the English is reinforced, perhaps double, perhaps. And Mr. And that's an example of why you're just talking about how some people get known as most based off defaults just being the, the children of God. <laughs> Cause the words say that. The words say this words say son of God. Benny Maraki. I can make that word from this. Children of God, right? And that's an example of how Mullah also meant that. And the Christians know that, see? <laughs> because they converted a lot of these mulis, mole, and the names that they had. <clears throat> see? And you know, in the circle series, he's been talking to the noble Riboni. Riboni. His name is Riboni because this means noble. Allah, just like more. And Arab, and Arabia. So, you know, you don't need nobody to tell us what that means. It's a different forms, you know. So, places be changing form based off reflections because English don't really reflect like that. English reflect a little. They turns he and she, masculine and feminine, him and her. But 
other languages got more inflections. Like this means more. This means of the more. This means to the more. This means the more. And the of as a, um as being talked to or talk about. This means being um, with with the mores. And this means old mores. Like you're talking to them. And different words they came out of it. They call it related terms because they know how words work. Come from this old ancient Canaanites, Hittite, and Egyptian empires and shit like that. The circle seven. Stop playing lying. Maurice, which means Mariki. And that in Latin means in Moorish. Like speak in Moorish. I speak in, the, in English, which means Angliki. That's the version of speak that is in the language version. Whatever language you as um uh, speak English. Alright. And let's see what the word more and how it became. It's really basically became its own word and defined as its own word, even though it still goes back to MR. And that's how I know what y'all even say that about us over here. And not even have to worry about what they're saying right here. Because in your mind, you can think about North Africa as we see it today and Mauritania as we see it today. But like I just finished saying, showing, this just means the land of God, or the Lord, or the Master, or the Beloved, or the Love. Right. And you know they got them in red because people like me don't play. I'll come and make them give me a sauce. So since they ain't got no sauce, they just know. And that's they know that in the ancient Greek. Because they ain't no they can't find me a dictionary in the ancient Greek <laughs> that say that he means something else. So they just gonna assume. But in the Greek you use that term similar to that for black. They never capitalize it. So they gotta show a capitalized version of the word in Greek that talking about the word, the color black and a person in a proper noun sense with capitalized. Or they gotta show uncapitalized talking about a person, which would mean they're talking about black instead of the proper noun that we're dealing with right now. I hope you understand what I just say. You got Mara, which is Mary or Maria. In our times, you know, see how the English do it. You see? <coughs> and they separated a lot of these things. They could have put all these on the same page, like I'm telling you now. They could explain all this on one page, but they only deal with what they know. And they think, they just believe this comes from the, ink, the Irish word Mary. Or Mary. That's what they think. But you know the ancient Celts been dealing with this. And they also show maybe the Italian feminine version of the Italian, but they wouldn't tell you this. They wouldn't say maybe this. Even though they got a page that says this exact word. That's how they play. Okay. Now that's the research I'm talking about. How the Americans, how the America, they look before it been America. But we know a lot of books in the European times that dealt with this in Ethiopia or Guinea or Africa. And that's what I was saying earlier about the, some of the wars, end up captives and stuff, end up being taken to camps and blacksmiths start to be getting take from one place to the next to work in different places and boat stuff and that's why they keep saying that you bull America where they be getting the people from really though let's get into it and you already know one that comes from Esteban or uh, Mustafa Mustafa Azamor Mustafa de Azamor and we already dealt with that in the last few videos, but the map showing a lot of that. 
but we knew it. That's what I'm making. And these places, do you want to go find some of these places? Go look in the Canaries. Um, King Charles the Fourth, Carlos, been going, coming, they were coming to do some vote at this time with so called, with slaves, so called Moors. They've been, they've been, they been Moors, but they've been captives and prisoners of war. So they end up coming to Savo just before 1492. That's before Carlos, too. But they already then started to move. You know, he, well, he went during Carlos' time, he started to move the birds that the wreckage say that these people were coming from to end up in Savo and all that. Because he probably been one of the people who been going back and forth at this time. He probably come from that line of people, right? He, if you think about it, because he was so called what we call what a Spanish call later Spanish call black Latinos, who end up the same goddamn way, you know, and end up in the Hades and all the different places, and um, he. During his time, the time that the change in the maps that my last video was talking about, he, um, a lot of these places where he ended up in the Canaries and in the west coast of Africa. Right? We got Morocco, Mari Ecos, which is Morocco, which is the land of God. That's why it's just a bunch of the same, we think it's just a bunch of the same word, same places everywhere, the same names, but the names got different meanings. Madeira. <laughs> and these some of the, the Moors who've been uh, they were nobles, but they ain't been like Islamic or Christians. They just died. <laughs> they had Moroccan. I think that's what he said, Marab Marabito. I can't really make it out on this, but it's crazy. And the river of the slaves, which is Sally. And you got a bar here. And we know another Mauritania. And we know um, Argentanio in the legend of Hispania. See, this go all the way back to <laughs> thousands of years with these people, man. Like, these people actually believe that they stole you. And they stole on and all these places that they had these old ancient walls with because they got these and these legends that they with the Celts and the, and like the Ar Argentinian, which sound like Argentinian to me, been one of those legends that when he <laughs> loses his kingdom of Tarsis, that became Mauritania and Morocco and all that on that side, right? So on this side, in, in Argentina, we still got the same legend, Mauritania. His kingdom became Mauritania after he lost the battle. Argentania. And they, and the Castilians and stuff believed they the ancestors of Argentina and these other um, people like uh, Hispan, Hesperio, and all these people who they got legends for, who were fighting with Osiris and all this shit, man. This, but this, those things to me is like stories of chapter 47, just different stories. Story of ancient empire of Egypt that stretched across the whole world through the streets and everything. But everything that comes through the streets, they will make myth or legend <coughs> because they want you to stay on that 1492. We ain't supposed to know about this bitch until it's Columbus. You see the two Sale, right? Meta. And Seuss. I go back to some of my last videos where right? I give more detail on what these places is. This is an idea of Tyler Moore's. We got Dea Lindy. How we get lost into our empire because they change a lot of these up, or we get lost because some of the vowels change, some of the words change a little. Cabo Frio, story of the day. You got Canana right there, but Cabo Frio. Um, they say the Norms, the Normans, so called the Moors of Normandy. 
and can establish capital for you, right? So that's how deep it is. Them are all the same people. You got the whole Mediterranean, Phoenician, Canaanite, more by Carthaginian Empire. You just gotta switch it out across the whole world to even understand what's going on and what's being hidden. Mixed up, they're gonna show you what a holy books and all that's got to do with it and all too. Why no one's really put all that in the circle saying for you? Coro, that's a place in South America, I think, Venezuela. But it looked like Morocco to me or Arabia, which is a place in where you're dealing with the language again. You got Aruba right in this area. One of the forts out there, but uh, and they were some of the gold that they steal. In the record books, they call us uh, quote unquote Moorish gold. But as time goes on, the books we read, they're going to call it Inca gold or Peruvian gold or whatever. But the most oldest books from the early 1400s before the 1492 saga. Talk about Moorish gold, but that can mean any place, right? <laughs> like Morocco, we believe that Morocco at the day only. The only land of God today we believe in Morocco. <coughs> you know, so you won't even lost in your own mind. And what's interesting about this is how we've been once the Moorish women here, the Marys, in this land up here. We used to wear these type of earrings in the 90s, right? So, you know, we know we're hanging up from those walls. And you know who they owe, who was due. That's the Museum of Gold in, in um, Inca and in Peru, Lima. Old morals. <laughs> The historic section. So we're dealing with an ancient aspect of everything. Even ancient India. All that connected. If you read the circle seven, you're talking about an in India India. Dealing with the the master of the law. But when you read it after this video, every place he say it's ambiguous. Just, just knowing that we're dealing with the whole planet and we're dealing with allegorical. <laughs> Look at that. The airing with the, 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 the <laughs> stop in the back is like in modern times. to see. <laughs> One of my favorite lines, especially in dealing with so-called quotes. Back in the day when I used to be dealing with them, going in there and listening to how they speak and stuff. And one thing I used to always say, that not one, most things you should be asking them is what you mean by that word. Because every word got multiple meanings. I can't get an understanding what you mean till I know what you mean. Like Bill Clinton did with the word us. He pressed that to, <laughs> you know, create a controversy on that matter. To get off the controversy on his own matter, you know. So the castles, this castle called Moroccan in a different form. A more of an American form. Yeah. Castillo, Moroccan. Feathers and affairs. And in gold. And the record books, many have been talking about going after some of the Moors in Peru. They've been talking about some of the tribes who've been with them from me. That's why I be saying people need to, everybody just need to just deal with 
when we improve in the times of now, we know when we get switched to certain terms like black, that alone already is right for reparations or whatever. That scores a show that something happened in your life. Cause you ain't got your shit now, you in a museum. <laughs> try to stay away from the tribe stuff. That's why in this video I try to connect everything. Stop looking at things in the box like Christianity, Islamic, um, foreign or domestic or shit, deal with the whole thing. Black and white. Deal with the whole planet. Everything come from you. Short and come back. Let me see. We got some. How much I got left? That's the area. So I'm up first. Conquista. Conquest. We conquistas. Happen. But what you might understand is this place was already full of people of all kinds from different parts of the world, including Spain. And they it is bad. Some people get the idea. In one inside one of the book in the book in the um of the um Duchess she said <laughs> um ain't nobody all these people he ain't never thought even even a, somebody could think of discovering this continent that this co this continent could be discovered that's how much it's been known in the minds of a lot of people at this time. And then we deal with a time we aiming that much communication that we got today. So I see how Isabella and Juan III and stuff, people like that, and Carlos could have had the idea of dominion over large parts of land. Could discover, so this means recognize in the Christian aspect. That means they ain't got it on no Christian map yet, so it's something to be discovered, registered. They ain't, they ain't got nothing to do with people being there or not. <laughs> For one, they deal with a lot of the records show that at first, these really dusk, these dark skin, like Carlos, people like him, he ain't really been on some conquering attack. He's been on some, they already had people there. That's the crazy part about it. His time, he already had millions of people there. The thing is, they just, called proselytism, proselytism. They gonna just do stuff and hope you come join them. That's what, that's what a foreigner do, somebody from another land. They'll come and pull a church and just hope you join your church and once you join your church, then you gonna deal with everything that come with that. And that's what happened. The most for start falling other gods and lose, even if people need own stuff, lose the original meaning of it understanding of the science of shit. Deal with the faith instead of the science. Now you ain't got no science and now you ain't got no civilization. You got no language, no educations. If you don't care about dictionaries, you, you, you got you saying that's the white man stuff. Or the white man dictionary or some shit like that. So that means you just dismiss knowledge based off something being told to you. Or an emotional reaction based off of it information just all it is and they call it the new kingdom of Granada terra firma and we know a lot of Dawson people been there because they had maps that been called Tierra when they first started conquering it, the so called Christian powers Tierra de Negros and a lot of sad stories down there a lot of Moorish Americans up here come from that. And this right here is interesting. They call it Otami Ottoman. What's an Ottoman? It's like a, they call it Moroccan too. Like a footstool we got this type of woven on it. And that's one called 1800 D. 
how they just take your ancient stuff and they turn into expensive stuff and they take it. They even take your face. They even go as far as to take your face and your head and make a brooch out of it and sell them for a hundred thousand <laughs> with diamonds shit in right? You right? So you know, everything's still coming from the ancient world to the modern world in different ways. And I say in brooch, they call them in the modern world what? A black man. Without the turban and the and diamonds and shit. And the robes and shit. Okay, that's the ottoman ottomy, which the people who apparently probably wolfed us <laughs> and they probably got it for cheaper. So the Artemis the ancient tribes in Mexico and they had a, ta a kingdom called Mesquito. And we know Mesquito, Mesquita means mosque in Spanish. So you have a valley of the mosque in Mexico. That's why the booth and you go and you find this in Morocco. People with the stands outside with these type of rugs and stuff like that. I could tell you it's Morocco, you wouldn't know the difference, right? But Mosquito Valley, even to this day, holding on to some of the stuff. And you got the state of Hidago. The Hidagos try to fight for their own independence of being Americans too. Even though they've been dealing with Andalusia too. You got the Palmeiras, the Palmeiras, of some of those moors from Azamor and those places that we show Marecos, who, you know, unfortunately, you know, <coughs> we got mixed in with another story, but it is what it is. We got Mecca and Macapa, which is both Mecca. As we finish, we just finished dealing with the languages. We can see now, they just different versions, the same thing. And this was Noah Jolie give us, and the circle seven and the one on one and stuff like that. Macapa. I just think, man. So. See you next time. Uh, I got a video dealing with um, uh, the Mauritania and the West of North America. I even got editing, yeah, I think I got it in two parts. that out next or maybe uh, we'll see but if there are any questions you know sincere questions just uh, ask in the thing if you already think you know no need to ask right <laughs> So Islam, until next time.